Okay, you're probably wondering why I am in the car doing a video this week. Well, I've just been on a road trip for all of last week and I got a sore back, but I'm gonna teach you how I got rid of it whilst in the car to help you out if you ever get back pain during holiday and you can help yourself out while you're in the car. So, a little bit about the pain. What I was doing was, well, what I was on was a road trip for five days, six days, and a whole lot of driving. So a lot of sitting down, and then a lot of sort of sightseeing where we were walking around, getting a sore back, and then sleeping in different beds like hotels and camping stretches and all sorts of things. So that gave my back, which is you know a hyperlodotic back that needs lots of core work, a bit of grief because I wasn't doing as much core work. I was doing a lot of things that would upset it. So I used the home trip, because that's when the back started getting sores on the way home, to actually help it out and fix it. So I thought I'd show you what I did to help you out when you go on that next road trip. First thing, because you're sitting down a lot, what I suggest you do is make sure you do some extensions during the pit stops. So what I mean is, use the front of your bonnet to lean on, because guess what? You're not gonna be on the ground on the roadside, you're not gonna be on the grass when you stop for fuel or stop for an ice cream, something like that you need to be doing some extensions. So just lean on the car, because when you do these ones, to reverse all the sitting down, because usually you know, you're sitting down in a flex position when you're driving, then standing on here will make you very active. So this will, if you lean on this, work on your extension, you actually can work on some abdominal control, some lower back control, and that'll help out switching a few things on, which we're gonna work on in a minute. But the biggest thing is getting in and reversing that sort of disc pressure, if you like, um, to try and be, get your extension back because that's what you haven't been doing, all right? So that will reverse the sitting posture stuff in the car, but you've also got to get those core muscles working because that's the stuff that I wasn't doing. Now, walking around aimlessly, you're not really using your core, you're not really focused on it, you're not exercising as much, definitely sitting down, you're not using your core. Um, but also, you know, sleeping on bad mattresses or, or softer beds that you're not conditioned to can also lead to a problem. So we're going to get you doing core work sitting down in the car, all right, because of the stuff you can do on a five-hour drive. But to actually get that working, what I suggest you do is get it activated outside of the car when you're doing your pit stop so you can feel what's going on. The best thing to do is just a really simple front plank against the front of the car. Okay, so being in that position to try and get that experience. One, you're sort of doing a plank, so sort of core work, but you're trying to work out and switch on all your outer core on top of your inner core like your pelvic floor. So when I'm in the car, and I'll show you in a minute, you're gonna activate your pelvic floor and then try and switch on everything. Now that's pretty hard when you're in a sitting position if you haven't been doing it for a week or so and you've forgotten. So just get into this, into this position, work on that plank and feel what that's like to try and challenge the score. It'll naturally switch on. You go into a front plank like this on an angle, it'll switch on. You just gotta make sure that you're turning on your pelvic floor a little bit, and then you're bracing here and breathing up here. So getting used to that sort of feeling. Now once you've got that, when you're in a car, then the real thing happens. So being in this position here, obviously try and make your seat as high as you can, okay? So you're not sort of bucket sitting like this. You've gotta be upright as you can. If you've got a little lumbar support, of course, crank that up so you're in a neutral position. You don't want to be sort of in a slump position like that because that's you know, some of the part of the reason why you're getting back pain in the first place is being in this position for five hours, okay? So when you're doing this exercise, I want you to sort of bum right back in the seat as long as you can fit, reach the pedals, okay? And keeping upright as you can. Now that's important for the headrest as well to make sure that you're in that vertical alignment. Now, this sort of thing needs to be done on a straight road, okay? So make sure your know, priority is your safety. Make sure you can focus on the road when you're doing this sort of thing because it does take a little bit of effort and a slight bit of concentration on what you're trying to achieve here. Um, but as long as you're in a safe position in the road, it's not a busy road, then that's the best place to do it. So when you're in this position, what I suggest you do is you use that pelvic floor to turn on and lift up to try and engage that inner multifidus, the back, your transverses, to try and get some sort of tone in there. And that'll switch on a bit of support mechanisms around the spine and stop some of that guarding and tightness that's developing from inactivity. So you're sort of giving yourself a little bit of exercise. Once you've got that on, then you've got to try and switch on the bracing part. 
through exactly what you did with the front plank. So you're trying to turn your obliques, you're trying to turn your rectus muscles and switch everything on and tighten it up without holding your breath, okay? That's very, very important, especially when you're driving. So you don't want your ribs flaring out, okay? You've got to sort of pull your ribs down a little bit without coming this way. You've got to be upright with your ribs down. And then just think about slowly, slowly tightening all through here, okay? Exactly what you did in the plank. Once you've got that position, you'll feel everything turn on. It should be tight through there. Now that'll probably alleviate some of your back pain straight away. You're most likely, if you're getting back pain from inactivity, from tightness, muscle guarding, doing this work just like a plank in a sitting position and actually alleviate it while you're driving. Okay, so it's a very nice thing to do. Other things you can also add on is a bit of posterior chain work. So what you can try and do is make sure your shoulders are down and back. Okay, so down and back with shoulders and use the headrest to actually push against just very gently. So you're using the back of your neck, the back of your shoulder blades, and that'll engage a little of that posterior chain down your spine where you're getting that muscle tightness and spasm and switch that on properly. So it's actually contracting in a nice way instead of a bad way. So you sort of got a double whammy there. You've got a posterior chain activation through your spine in a nice sitting position, and you've got that anterior core, like a sort of a buffer at the front to turn on. And both those two things combined are gonna give you less pain when you're driving. So it's almost like you're trying to be active while you're passive, if that makes sense, because the whole reason why I was getting back pain is because I was inactive sitting, inactive in a bed, inactive sort of when I was walking around, nothing was really working. So if you just think of the reverse, be active through here when you're in those inactive positions and that'll make things a lot better. Now, one thing to add is you'll notice once you've got everything sorted in here, it's feeling good, this thing needs to go for about a minute, okay? So holding that position on only for a minute, just bracing just like you do a plank for a minute in that nice position, keeping your posture really great. What you'll notice is as soon as you let go, you realize how bad a position you probably were in when you weren't doing it, okay? So when you relax, everything will slump down. You go, oh my goodness, you've noticed this isn't working. You're in that C sort of shape, your neck's forward, you know, and you probably realize why you're getting neck pain. So people who do suffer from neck pain driving, watch yourself, are you in this position? You know, and does this sort of posterior chain and anterior core activation really help with your neck pain as well and improve your posture? So check that out, hope that helps. See you next time.